Hey guys, so today I'm working on a solar power project. I added 5,000 watts to this system about eight months ago, and that brought it up to 13,000 watts total. There's a wire in here that all that power has to go through, and also the bus bars in there that I think are a little undersized. So it hasn't really been a problem, but I just want to get in there and beef it up. So I'm going to add these bigger bus bars. I'm going to add all these uh, copper, 10, 10 copper uh, lugs, crimp them all up, and double up on the wiring. Just going to make it stronger. So it's a little open heart surgery project. We're going to have to shut this whole thing down. Now I've only shut it down twice in five years. Once for a battery change out that I probably didn't even have to do. And the other one to add this uh, third PT100. So we're going to shut it down for the third time. Let's get okay, started. So step one. So i got to turn off all the power. Actually, I'm just switching it from solar to the utility. So now the whole house is on the utility. Okay, next I'm going to shut the system down. So these are the breakers to those two panels in the other room. This is to this room. You see I don't have a lot of power coming in. It's night, just getting down to night time here. So these are the inputs from the solar. All right. And these are the inputs to those charge controllers. That's the battery monitor kit. So let's cut the output. I'm going to wait for the inverters to shut down. The uh, PT100s are shutting off. Those are those are down. Both inverters are sleeping. So now <clears throat> I can kill that and that, <clears throat> and that is the whole system off. All right. Next, let's disconnect the batteries. I want no power in this box when I'm working in there. Okay, that's one. Okay, next, I'm going to pull this cover off. So here's where the problem is. If you check out this bus bar right here, it's undersized. I've got these three wires represent the three arrays with about four or five thousand watts on each of these. Let's say four thousand. Uh, they all come into this bus bar. This one's overloaded, which isn't good. And then all the power has to go through this one wire out to the either the battery bank or up to the inverters. So I'd like to come in here with a bigger bus bar like this guy. Put this in here if I can squeeze it in there. And then put the 10 copper lugs on all those uh, array wires. And then run two wires off of this. Uh, one to here and one to here. So let's get started. All right, guys, a couple hours later, and I've got the terminal block in there. I've rewired the three strings with lugs on them. I kept the old terminal, and I jumped over to it for the little stuff. But now I've got two big one knot cables for all the power. So basically I went from the one on the left here, one of those, to two of the wires on the right. So quite a bit more wire there so hopefully that will do it it is a little bit different so I'll have to see how that if that creates any kind of a problem actually it should be better but we'll see let's get the power turned on and see what happens here we go we're going to do inverter inverter battery monitor kit pt100 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 these are the inputs from the panels i'll leave those off for now the whole thing should just power up but it won't actually be running all right, so here we go. Bam! Whoo! All right, so it's 9 a.m. Sun's coming up. It's partly cloudy. Okay, so with a little power coming in, and we're using about a thousand watts in the house, plus and six amps into the battery. We're in thinking mode because it always does that when you reset it. It'll take a few hours for it to figure out where it's at. 
All right, so the sun just popped out from behind the cloud. And you can see it hitting the panel now. Let's see what we got. So now you can see we got over 3,000 watts coming in. Just putting about 50 amps on the battery. It's about a thousand watts being pulled in the house. So basically, we're uh, up and running again. All heavy duty now, so hopefully that'll be better for the future. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.